All right, guys, you, uh, you like caramel sauce on your sundae or peanut butter? That's why I wanted to pop the cover on this, just in case we saw something like that. See what, uh, see what our internals look like here. Maybe. Silicone's probably gonna sling oil all over my face. I don't know, they look pretty good. Oil is definitely uh, due for refreshing. But gears and everything look good. There's our gear ratio. Four tens indeed. So I think we're in pretty good shape. Again, I just feel better having had this open and checking things out a little. There is some wear on this ring gear. Um, but it's not horrible. It's not bad enough that it justifies really doing a whole lot about it. So I think we're in pretty good shape. Um, you know, even though this axle supposedly has low mileage on it. I'm sure those were not easy miles. And I think it probably got used in four-wheel drive a lot. Uh, I think I told you before this was out of a oil field truck. So, you know, being in an off-road environment like that, I'm sure it had the plow down and the four-wheel drive engaged quite a bit. But um, I don't see chunks. I don't see filings. You know, you see a little bit of just gray film there. A lot of times that's got some metallic in it. Um, you can kind of see in the oil down here, there's a little bit of a sheen due to some tiny little particles of metal, but that that's kind of how these things wear. That's just kind of what happens. So, um, you know, not seeing any chunks, no teeth missing. You know, to put this in a work truck that's going to occasionally be used in four-wheel drive and not be locked in all the time, I think we're in real good shape here. So, we'll um, get this mating surface cleaned up on both the cover and the pumpkin. Put some silicone on there. Get this guy put back together. I don't know if you saw me. I had to loosen one of those eye bolt or U-bolt nuts. It's weird that nut was run up and uh, the washer on it was blocking the head from that cover bolt. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. That was kind of an odd one. But, uh, you know, springs and perches and everything seem to be aligned, so I don't think anything has slid around or shifted here. It was just kind of a, kind of a weird situation. But uh, we'll get that guy run back up tight and to torque down. Um, get this cleaned up, put some silicone on it, put this cover back on. And we'll be ready to fill it with oil and uh, move on to the next step in the process. All right, guys. Well, I've thought a little bit more about it, and I don't want to put this thing into this truck um, with the possibility that that axle seal may be leaking. So I've gone ahead and uh, placed an order to get those seals here. I needed to order some other things for this project anyway, so... That order is in. I will have those here in a few days. Um, that's a job that's not really easier to do now than it would be to do it after this axle is in the truck, so it's not really going to stop my progress. It uh, is just something that I can kind of circle back to here. So with that in mind, I think I'm going to go ahead and put the cover back on this, and we'll um, get a couple of other little things taken care of that will um, move us in the direction of getting this axle underneath the truck here. and. Um, it is just a little bit closer. All right, guys, one thing that I did want to do with this axle before I roll it under the truck was to break this tie rod end loose. Um, that's because in order to replace the seals in this differential, I've got to roll the carrier out the front, 
I'll show you how that's done here once we get to that point. But in order to do that, you've got to have this tie rod out of the way. Uh, it won't come out through with the tie rod in front of the carrier. So I went ahead and pulled the cotter pin, back this nut off, just left it hanging by a couple of threads here, and then went ahead and knocked this loose. Anytime you have a tie rod end like this that you want to reuse, you don't want to ruin the, the I don't know, the bellows or the seal on it there by using a pickle fork. Um, pickle fork is a big V-shaped uh, wedge that you drive in there that's meant to separate tie rods. Um, but if you want to try and save this, what you can do is just apply some pressure across here. For that, I used my big 36 inch crowbar. Just got in here like this and applied some pressure straight down. And then with the biggest hammer that I could find, which is my little three pound hand sledge, hit right here. The shock vibrates this and tie rod ends like this are a tapered shaft, meaning that it's smaller at this end than it is at the opposite end. So this hole is tapered. It wants to move that direction. It wants to come free. Uh, it's actually wedged into place and kind of held there by friction. So just striking it here on the knuckle, give it a heck of a whack while you're putting some pretty good down pressure on it with the pry bar. That's enough to just pop it loose. It saves your threads, saves your nut, saves the seal. Boy, that feels like a milestone. It's off the blocks. Took a while to get all the bolts lined up and get everything situated just so, so that it would bolt into place. But uh, I'm telling you what, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. So there's a few little things yet to do. I got to uh, bolt up the steering, bolt up the track bar, um, yeah, obviously brakes, gotta work on that differential. A few other things like that to get the front end all wrapped up and done. But boy, it feels good to have that thing off the blocks. This way I can move it around here again and uh, push it up in the garage if the weather gets bad. So. 
that's uh, that's a good feeling. One big step forward. So guys, if you are enjoying this series, uh, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. Um, there'll be much more to come on this as we um, move this thing on towards completion. I think one of the next things, one of the next major milestones to be done here will be this back end. I've got uh, spring hangers on their way. We've got to unbolt the, the axle, put our four inch lift block in there to level this thing out. And then we'll get um, get our dually meats on there, get this thing um, to full roller status, and then tell you what, it's kind of downhill slide from there, hopefully. Making good progress. Thanks for watching.